In this video we're going to be giving you an overview of the new claims portal which will be integrated into PCSE Online. I'm going to show you how you as a commissioner can manage a number of different premises claims or look and cover claims that have been submitted to your office. We're also going to have a look at something called pre-approvals in which a practice would send you a pre-approval to get locum cover. So let's get started. First, what we need to do is log into PCSE Online, click GP Payments, Payments again, then Claims, and then Claims Approval. And we've now been taken through to our standard Claims Approval screen. Uh, depending on the level of access that you're actually granted by your user administrator will depend entirely on what you see in the standard claims approval screen. Uh, it may be a case that you have been given a data entry role. So in which case, when you come through to this screen, you'll be able to see the standard claims. You can filter this list by entering the contract code or name of the practice that has sent you the claim. You can filter by looking for a claim status the claim from date and the claim to date as well. But let's say for example, we just want to have a look at all our pending claims. Let's click search. And here we can see one claims come through. You can see the practice name, you can see the type of claim that it actually is. So this is a water rates claim, the claim start date and end date, which should be reflected in the invoice that the practice has submitted as evidence for this type of claim. We can see there is pending, the amount that that the practice is claiming for, the approved claim amount, which is something we would enter in ourselves here, the authorization justification, which is a mandatory text box and something needs to be put in there. If we want to view this claim in more detail, go to the claim number, click that, and this will take us into the actual claim form that the practice will have submitted. We'll be able to click on the invoice, which will download it in the bottom left hand corner, and if you wanted to look at that, it's a simple case of opening up the document. And if we're happy with everything that we've seen, we can come out of that screen, go back in, bring back our pending claim, say that we are willing to approve the claim amount for the full amount. You don't have to include the full amount, you can actually do it for part of the amount if that is required. In the mandatory text box, and a little bit of narrative as to why you've made the decision you have made. And then you can either validate or reject the claim. For this, we're just going to validate it. And what this will do is we'll trigger a notification for one of our colleagues, which will let them know we've reviewed this claim and now it's time for them to go in, do whatever checks that they need to do and approve if they feel they can approve. So what I've done now is I've logged out of the data entry role and I've now logged in as an approver. Now let's say I have just received an email. I would be able to log into PCSE Online, click on Messages, and I can see here the claim we've just approved from the data entry role is now appearing in my approver queue. So I can click on Review. This will take me into my standard claims approval screen or my standard claims portal. I can now look for all validated claims. If I wanted to, I could take the exact same steps as before as the data entry role just did by clicking on the claim number. I can look at the amount that's been approved. Type in some mandatory text and then click approve. What that would then do is it would trigger a notification to be sent back to the practice. They've received an email letting them know that the claim has been reviewed, a decision has been made, and that claim has now been managed end to end. Now as a practice, outside of submitting premises claims, I can also submit a pre-approval for locum cover. Only the approver will be able to see these types of pre-approvals. So where we've got standard claims here, we then click on pre-approvals, Claim status, let's look for any pending ones. And this should bring up any pending pre-approvals that have come through. And as, as before, with the premises claim, we can click on the claim number, view the submission in more detail, have a look at why that locum cover is actually needed, and then that will help us make a more informed decision as to what 
outcome we're going to choose or what decision we're going to make as to whether we're going to approve or reject that pre-approval. So we need to enter some text, click approve, and confirm. And again, that would trigger a notification to be sent back to the practice. So there we have it. We've just taken a look at a two-tier approval uh, for a premises claim and submitting and approving a pre-approval for locum cover. And that is your claims portal.